accidentally cracked four eggs that were sitting in my refrigerator that I thought were hard boiled from Easter last week, but they're not and I don't want to waste them. So we're going to try to make up some sort of a cake featuring chocolate and yellow jello and I'm semi following a Pinterest recipe, but we're going to see how it turns out. Um, I got some hot water boiling in the background. Um, I am semi sort of following this loosely today because some of the ingredients are for the recipe and I'm also going to add the eggs and that recipe, so we're really just going to wing it today. I already put in a cup and a half of flour. Uh, I need one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Um, I thought it was going to be have me use baking soda, so I'm going to skip that part. Um, let's see, I think I've got, well, I'm going to go ahead and add in yellow jello. As well as some chocolate jello. Again, this, I'm just using what I have. I really, this was not part of my meal planning for the day. Um, it is my meal prep day, but I just didn't, I didn't want to waste those eggs. You know, kind of expensive and um, it's just, they're hard to get. So that was just, I, I couldn't bring myself to just throw an egg that I cracked. So I just used the rest of the loose eggs. I don't even know how it got there. I think it was just from last week. So we're going to do a lemon chocolate semi sort of cake issue. And then my water just started boiling. Um, it said, I'm Hot but not unboiled, but I'm gonna get out through all this. I'm sure it'll cool down a little bit. Um, so, let's see, dry ingredients. Uh, I think I still need my sugar. So, the recipe calls for two thirds cup of sugar and two thirds cup of brown sugar. I've got my measuring cup in front of me, although I am doubling the recipe from this semi sort So, what's two thirds plus two thirds? All right, I'm just going to do two-thirds twice because I don't want to try and do math in my head and get messed up. That's just how bad I am at math. I never figure it out. So I'm going to do, I probably don't need to double the recipe, but I've got two things of pudding, so why not? Okay, we've got that. And I just completely destroyed this. All right. I forgot that I have my stand mixer here, so I'm going to dump all this into here. I'm going to do that before I hit my dry ingredients. Oh man, this may not work out. Oh well, at least we can say we tried something new. Or it could be like totally amazing and I can add it to a recipe book. Alright, let's add our wet ingredients. I've got four eggs. I add two teaspoons of vanilla. Now the recipe calls for oil instead of eggs, but I think I'm just going to do the eggs and see um, what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about, I'll add one, I'll add two things to the milk here. I'll just add one and two thirds cup of milk and then we will mix. Here's the milk. All right, I'm gonna go. sit for a few minutes, it happens. Mm. All right, I've got the juice of one lemon I'm adding in real quick. It's chocolatey, but lemony and very sweet. But I'm gonna do this. I mean, the jello part may end up coming out more like jello. And I sprayed our pan here with some cooking spray. It's got a very bubbly texture. I may have maybe thinned it out a little too much. I'm glad I didn't put any oil in there. But we'll see. Uh, the oven is on 350. It says to bake for 20 minutes, so I'll just do like 20 minute interval. And if it works, I will be impressed. I mean, I will be so proud of myself. Either way, this is getting uploaded because I just want to. <laughs> It just sounds like a fun video to do, but, um, and if it works, it must be a good recipe to keep handy, and if it doesn't work, well, that's just part of the process of trying to figure out how to cook. And no, this is not a part of my whole cooking journey, this is just, I don't like to waste things, you know? Just, I hate being wasteful, at least if I know, and I'm trying to put it into something and it fails, I've learned something versus just throwing eggs in the trash. 
So I've put some, these other ingredients are just in my refrigerator anyway. So now we wait. Now, oh my god, the thing it turned out. It, it had to bake at 350 for an hour. I probably could have done 400 for a little bit less time, but I think it turned out. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm going to let it cool and then I'm going to taste it. How it turned out, you can see it's a little bit mushy. It probably could have been cooked for another 20 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. But you can kind of see where, they're, where the gel is kind of been mixed in. I'm like scared to try it, but I want to see how it worked. Actually, it's not bad. Oh, I forgot I was going to put some lemon slices on top. Eh, oh well. Actually, that's not bad. It just tastes like a very moist cake. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I wouldn't say it's anything spectacular, but it's really not that bad at all. I mean, we'll make a good little dessert for later today. Overall, even though the dessert did turn out, I don't think it was as good as I initially thought. As we went throughout the day and I kind of had everybody try it, it was just kind of one of those things that was just okay. Um, I ended up just throwing it out because nobody ended up actually really liking it enough to eat it. I think if you, um, it's one of those things where if you like certain tastes, you might like the dessert. But for us, I mean, I'm going to count it as a fail because I will not be making it again. Um, but as I learn how to cook more and be in the kitchen more, I could probably come up with better things, like kind of on the fly like that. Um, but again, it's just, it's not something that I will be adding to a personalized recipe book anytime soon. But anyway, if you enjoyed that video and enjoyed just watching me try to figure stuff like this out, um, again, I am not a cook. The kitchen is not something that comes natural to me. But, uh, if you did in... I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button. I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle, and my goal on this platform is to share my love for beauty as well as my love for Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I'm actually really enjoying doing this kind of style of video where it's just a little bit more vlog style, a little bit more relaxed, um, and I'm just able to do kind of stuff like this just as I go throughout my day, so anyway, um, yeah, hit that subscribe button, but I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.